In this brand new tutorial, we will have a look at revolutionizing the hairspray weathering technique. If you aren't familiar with the hairspray technique, please have a look on YouTube. You'll find plenty of videos there. Usually, uh, this technique involves a dark base coat that has to be rather sturdy. In this case, I use brown on my nurgly guys. After this, a less or more or less thick coat of hairspray is sprayed onto the miniature um, to have a layer of uh, water soluble uh, stuff and after that you'll usually need an airbrush because you have to paint over this with a rather thin coat that connects with the hairspray and after that again um, you can uh, add water on top and then scratch the paint off with a brush or toothpick or whatever tool you have at hand. But what if there's a simpler and more accessible way to this technique? I've filled a bit of the stuff into a dropper bottle to have more control over it and I started by adding a one-on-one -on -one mix to regular paint for a Ease of control, uh, you can use paint from a dropper bottle, but you also can use other paint there. And the, the mix doesn't have to, to be that right. Uh, simply mix the, the raw hairspray stuff with the paint and apply it to the model. You have to be a bit faster than usual as the hairspray will dry quicker than your paint so yeah you have to hurry a bit however once that stuff is dry and i mean after 20 or 30 minutes or so you can scratch it by um, applying water on the surface this will dissolve uh, the paint along with the hairspray and you'll reach uh, the effect you usually have when uh, using the hairspray airbrush uh, variant uh, but with a direct brush on um, approach so you can uh, only paint the areas you want to scratch later with this mix of paint which makes it so much easier to apply you don't have to spray your whole miniature you don't need an airbrush uh, all that stuff uh, gets redundant you simply mix um, the hairspray into your paint apply it or wait a bit and then do all the scratching um, it is to say that if you leave it too long so uh, like overnight or 24 hours um, the scratching is going much harder and your base coat has to be more resilient. This also is um, not a technique recommended for tanks or bigger miniatures where uh, the hairspray propellant with the airbrush uh, is the much better solution there. But, yes, there's another but. Um, you simply can uh, do this um, hairspray paint mix right into your airbrush and spray it in one go uh, wherever you want to uh, want the paint to scratch so you don't need the overall hairspray coat you simply mix the hairspray with paint and airbrush uh, a thin or thick layer or whatever layer you want wherever you want it and thus you also uh, are way more uh, flexible here you can uh, play around easier don't you don't have all that hassle between dry times and stuff like that simply airbrush your um, weatherable paint onto the miniature where you need it hopefully this small tutorial um, 
has helped you to get the idea right maybe you'll try this maybe i will um, uh, put this technique to use in uh, later tutorials of course i i will do that I've, as i plan to use the technique uh, more often and of course i will go deeper into its use so far so good um, thank you for watching be excellent to each other and stay tuned